right, people, welcome back to some more card review. So once again, we are looking at another one of the new Gladiator Beast Fusion type monsters. On Monday, we looked at Andavante, and today we are looking at one who pretty much blows Andavante out the freaking water, and they came out the same damn time, so Andavante is already obsolete. Today, we are looking at Gladiator Beast Tamer Editor. So he is a dark Beast Warrior Fusion effect monster, level 8. With 2400 attack, 3000 defense. So, not only are, is his attack higher than Andabante with a respectable 2400, but also his booty, which was Andabante's best thing of 28, he already gets passed up by this 3000 booty already. So, even your stats are obsolete, Andabante, and even easier to make than Andabante, alright? So, his materials, his materials are two level 5 or higher Gladiator Beast monsters. Now, on the Bonte, of course, you need to use Augustus, so that's already one Gladiator Beast monster that's level 5 or higher. And you're probably like, man, two level 5 or higher Gladiator Beast monsters? That's so freaking difficult that, like, I don't even run level 5 or higher Gladiator Beast monsters in my day. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Now you do. All right? Just for this guy. Yes, you do. All right? So, we're already running Augustus, who is actually pretty good. He summons the Gladiator Beast monster from your hand. But also, we reviewed this guy a long time ago. I think he's great. I already talked about him. Noxious. He's level 5. There you go. You play three of each of those motherfuckers. You have Augustus, pull the Gladiator Beast Noxious out of your hand. There you go. There's your two level five or higher Gladiator Beast monsters. And you're probably like, is it really worth it? When you get to when I when you guys hear this effect, you're gonna be like, all right, yeah, 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 that's worth it, definitely. So let's get to the effect. The effect reads, must be special summon from the extract by shuffling the above cards you control into the deck, you do not use poly. All right, contact read. That's fine, right? Uh, it cannot be used as fusion material, but you don't need to use him as a fusion material because he's going to be doing all the summoning from the extra deck for you, you know? We already talked about that Andabante is actually pretty decent because when he's summoned, when he's properly fusion summoned, contact fusion summon, he gets to go ahead and pull a level 7 or lower Gladiator Beast fusion monster from your extra deck, so you can just go ahead and pull out that guy from your extra deck and then go pop, pop. That's actually pretty decent. Beast Tamer here, he takes it a step farther, all right? Once per turn. You can special summon one Gladiator Beast Fusion Monster from your extra deck except for Tamer Edition, ignoring its summoning condition. So, Andabante only gets this effect if he's properly fusion summoned and only when he is set failed that one time. Tamer here does it once per turn. So, every single turn he's still on the field, he gets to keep on summoning. So, you summon him, activate his effect, summon Gazarus, pop, pop, and keep in mind, Andabante said level 7 alert. This guy, there is no level restriction. He can go ahead and summon you that hero Klinos. So if you're in a favorite position, you're you've already done plenty of popping. You know, you're in a position where you're gonna end the duel next turn, your opponent has one more turn. You would rather go for a lockdown play, summon the hero Klinos, you know? So yes, this guy can summon Hero Klinos. This guy can summon Andabante if he wants to. I mean, it really don't do anything, but he could, you know. And of course there's other gladiator beast region monsters, but really. Gazaris, Heraclinos, come on, all right? So that effect is wonderful. That, that I mean, that's even better than Andabante's effect. It's literally Andabante's effect, except better since you can activate it every single turn, once per turn, and he's easier to summon, and he has better stats. Like, he just blow Andabante out of the water. Like I said, Andabante is already obsolete, and these guys turn out at the same time, all right? Uh, at the end of the battle phase of a Gladiator Beast Monster, Monsters, you control battle, you can shuffle those monsters into the deck or extra deck and special summon the Gladiator Beast monster from your deck. So this effect is a little bit weaker than the actual Gladiator Beast Fusion monster effect because, of course, generally they tag out for two. So you would be getting that one extra deck monster for two. But uh, this is mainly for the Gladiator Beast monsters who cannot tag out. You know, there's a couple. I know, I know. You're talking, what the fuck are you talking about? There's actually some Gladiator Beast monsters who do not have the effect to tag out. There's actually a Fusion monster who's generic and nice and all, but he doesn't tag out, and we call him the Handicap Gladiator Beast because he kind of looks like he's in a wheelchair, and he doesn't even have the ability to, you know, run out uh, and tag out because he's handicapped. But, uh, yeah, Tamer here, he's like, I got you, dude. Like, look, I'm going to allow you to tag out, you know? Now, Tamer here, he does not tag out himself. That's fine. Like I said, he's the one who's pulling from the extra deck, and then he's like, hey, you leave and summon one from the deck, you know? So that's actually pretty good. Like I said, this card is freaking phenomenal this is this is really this is one of the cards that gladiator beast needed exactly and like i said it kind of sucks that you got to run some level five or higher gladiator beast but like i said there are actually some good level five or higher gladiator beasts like when remaking your gladiator beast deck i would definitely say run three augustus and run three noxious you know and you can even probably pull back in like test tiger 
because you can just summon the guy your beast, test, tag her out, tag out, and you know, if you have a like I said, you're running three Augustus and three Noxus, you tag out to Augustus, Augustus will summon whatever that other low five guy your beast from your hand. There you go, there's Tamer. Go ahead and go in the guys' arse. Like, there's much more ways to access guys' arse, and that just makes the play so much stronger. So, uh, and just the fact that this card can access Heraclinos, like, you don't even need Macquarie anymore. You can just summon the Heraclinos from your damn extra deck with freaking uh, Tamer here. Like, this guy is phenomenal. He is really great. And like I said, I don't even understand why you even think about playing uh, on Devante when freaking Tamer is right here. He already can use one of the materials for. Uh, on Devante, so he's just overall better. He's he's easier to summon. His stats are better. His effect is better. Everything about him is just better. So um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna give this guy a thumbs up. And that's really all I have to say about him. So tell me what you guys think about Gladiator and Beast Tamer Editor in the comment section below. So uh, for Fake Card Friday, since we've already done two Glad Beast cards, you know, I decided for Fake Card Friday, let's look at more Glad Beast cards. So of course, uh, people like Glad Beast. They made some fake cards. Of Glad Beast. Uh, there's two of them that come on, so you're actually going to be getting a double card, fake card Friday. You know, uh, it's not a special because I've been doing it a lot lately, but you know what? That's fine. So I look forward to that. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, uh, like I said, I really appreciate all of your support. Um, I will be doing a little update video soon, so I look forward to that. But, uh, like I said, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and bell for notifications. And, of course, I'll be back tomorrow with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! related content. All right, people. Thanks for watching.